and welcome back to another video here on the off-grid garage nothing is connected but we are making progress <laughs> I decided to drill a hole so I have to do it now I have to do it there's no other way around it I need to close this hole again um, the reason I'm taking the fuse enclosure off again which I mounted here on this bracket a while back this is one of my first videos here on the channel if you want to follow this up uh, I have decided to mount all the fuses inside the enclosure inside the garage now because there's so much space in there it doesn't make sense to have switch gear here up on the roof and then inside and somewhere else so all this stuff goes now into the big uh, switchboard enclosure inside the garage hence I'm taking this one off again and I have drilled a hole in my roof again so we need to put something in there yeah, so what I will do is I will mount these fuse holders here up in the top left corner of the enclosure the two clamps here this is where the solar cables come in and then we've got the fuse holders here and there's so much space in this cabinet I mean why wouldn't you put them in here right and also um, this makes a good termination of the solar cable so they're coming in they connect to these fuse holders and from there I go into the solar charge controller then if I need to isolate anything I just open the switchboard here pull the fuse holders and the whole roof is isolated so I don't need to climb the ladder and open this little enclosure there and then take the fuse holders off whatever I can do all this here inside the enclosure and uh, this is my thought behind it at the moment it may change in the future who knows I cannot really see the size from the underside there's this uh, cloth under the roof and I cannot see the hole so I don't know how tiny bit I think that's it here yeah, it just a little bit of filing and we are done That's it, that's it. Cool. Done. Well, we need only four cables to go in here. So positive negative of this string and positive negative of this string. I need to bring them over here with a little pipe and then they're going in here. Well, this took me a while to get this corrugated conduit now through this hole here. Because everything is covered in the garage with this cloth, you can't really see where you are and you can't really access it. But I've got it now. And we put this end, this joiner, on here. And you can, you can glue them together, but I'm not a big fan of gluing. I really like connections which you can take apart again. So I'm just... This is so... Not going anywhere all right there we go that's pretty much it well i've cut it now 
Have I really thought this through 10 times? No. I just cut it. Well, apart from this little hole there, nothing to see here. Well, it's, it's a maintenance hole now, right? I'm just going to cut off this this um, conduit here now for in between the panels, the strings, to feed the cable through. Even these are solar, now what are they, of UV resistant cables. I'm still a fan of putting everything into a conduit or if you don't have any you can you can use some um, plastic irrigation pipe here or something or even a, a piece of garden hose if you have. Just feed the cables through there and they are more protected. UV protection you know here in Australia that's a joke. We've got two suns in the sky sometimes here and with these harsh conditions I'm always for better protection of these cables. So get a conduit, irrigation pipe, garden hose or a steel pipe, whatever you have and put these cables through there. So and what I'm going to use to cable my solar panels is 4 millimeter cable here. This is not solar cable so it doesn't have the double insulation but I don't really care about that because this is in full enclosure, this is full in conduit and in the switchboard here inside the garage so there's no UV exposure at all for this cable and this cable will not break down this will always stay flexible this is very high quality cable okay let's see if we can feed this cable through here uh, it's not there yet Okay, I'll leave this as straight as possible and hopefully it goes through as always. This is, this is, so, this is bastard conduit here. It's so hard to get these cables through because they get stuck at every little ring here. You know, if, if you have sharp bends in there, it's almost impossible to get the cable around. There is a tool available like a metal spiral thingy you push through. It has a rounded um, tip and this goes through very easily. should be fine now and then you connect your cable at the end and pull it through and it goes yeah there it is all right so that's working all right guys now we have to wait until this afternoon um, because we need to go on the roof and connect the solar panels crimp some solar connectors and everything but it's far too hot at the moment when the Sun is shining here you cannot touch the metal roof at all that's like a fry pan all right, we'll leave this all as it is and wait for the afternoon or more clouds to come in, which looks actually promising. And these are the both tools you need to connect your solar panels. This is a uh, crimper. These are the MC4 solar connectors. So most of the time they are coming in a pair of male and female. It's, it's very easy. I'll show you in a minute when we are back on the roof. And this is enough cable for me to connect everything to the fuses inside here. I will now pull back this cable here through the conduit until the roof and then measure it. And then I can add this length to all the cables we need to pull through without me being measuring every single one. So we need 1.5 meters from here all the way through the conduit to the cabinet down there somewhere. And we just need to add this length to all the cables we are making on the roof now and then it should be okay. If you do everything right, it should be okay. Okay. So this is 1.6 meters now. This will be our first connection and this is the closest the closest connection we have here from this one from this first panel and there's the negative symbol on it. So this is our most negative contact of this of this string, and you don't need to and you don't need to strip a lot of this cable here. It is just this little fin, these little fins here at the end. See, that's pretty much how much the cable goes in. You can make it longer, so it goes a little bit into this part here of the of the contact. But this one will not be crimped. It's only this part here which is being crimped. If you strip it 10 millimeters, that's plenty. There we go. And I put it in here. 
So this crimper here is for terminals from 2.5, 4 or 6 millimeters MC4 connectors. And because we've got an MC4, so you have to use the middle notch here of this crimper and then put the contact basically upside down in there. So like this. So if you push this together, you can see the top part is pushing on the bottom of the contact and then these two wings, they get folded together. They basically, they follow this shape of the crimper here and they get folded together and crimp the cable. So this is the right way, not the other way around. So then we put our cable in here and then we just crimp. All the way down and the crimper releases and you're done and you can see how these two fins how they're folding into the middling and really you really cannot undo this anymore this is a perfect crimp all right and the last bit is you just push this one into your actual plug there you go and then you tighten this one. Usually if you buy the crimper and some terminals in a set, it comes with this little spanner here as well. And this goes around your plug here and then you can tighten the plug, but it's a toy, you know, it's not really necessary. You can do this with your bare hands easily, bang, and you're done. So this is now watertight with a rubber sealing inside. And from this end, we've got the O-ring against our contact here of the solar panel and then you push this in there you go so if you press these two hooks down you can undo the connection again if you need to replace your solar panel or need to disconnect the connection for some reason and this is our first connection now this is the negative of this string okay let's do this painful job again all right first one done so the next step would be to cable the most positive solar panel of this string here and get the cable down here run it all the way down here and then into our whole conduit in the enclosure so you don't want to connect any of your panels right now keep them all separate at the moment so you don't have any high voltage on these connect on these contacts you know stay safe because these three panels, if they are connected in series here, they produce 150 volt DC. And, and you certainly don't want to touch 150 volt DC anymore. So keep them all separate until you've got your cabling done. We have our fuse holders and everything mounted inside the cabinet, everything is connected. And then in the very, very, very last step, we connect the solar panels here on the roof. So don't worry about all this cable mess here. Just concentrate on the most negative and the most positive of your strings and leave all the panels disconnected.